up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog so in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes with myself and Malik who is currently <laughs> sorry say hi <laughs> he's currently rushing us to the location um, we are shooting uh, an ad for Netflix so basically you guys may have seen they've got a new show called Umbrella Academy that launched recently and I did a really cool video with them where they actually gave me superpowers and they hoisted me on a crane and made me look like I can levitate so today we're carrying on with that narrative um, this time it's gonna be in image form so we're gonna take you behind the scenes of how we are going to shoot uh, still a normal outfit post like I would typically do on Instagram but it's going to be me levitating we're gonna carry on with that levitating story so in the show um, the mom is very much uh, into like 50s style and then there's a woman who's in charge of time that's all I'm gonna say and she um, is an ode a personified fashion ode to the 50s so I'm kind of vaguely touching on that with my glam I really put thought and effort into that um, and kind of with my dress it's gonna be kind of 50s it's gonna look like a 50s skirt if I swish it if everything goes to plan like an homage to those beautiful women um, so right now we are looking for a location I do quite like this I do quite like this we were supposed to go to the city but drama it suddenly became super cloudy and we lost light and looks like we found something and so yeah we're gonna get started on that shot okay so we found our location which is this old house and there's a beautiful baby what's this tree called again hibiscus hibiscus i want to say hydrangea but i know it's not a hydrangea anyway so we found this beautiful hibiscus and this really old house and um basically what we have over here is a chair so i'm gonna attempt to balance on one foot with that chair while holding this umbrella and swishing my skirt so that it has a bit of volume so we get that 50s feel and um you can do it what's that you can do it <laughs> so yeah then basically at a later stage we're going to photoshop the chair out and it's going to look like i am levitating yep. while slaying a young 50s look by the way show them my outfit can we show them my outfit Cool. What are you attempting to do? I'm gonna get on the chain. <laughs> she has to get on With that chain. Heels. With and that heels. One leg. With one leg. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got it. It's level. <laughs> now he's gonna pass me the umbrella. And we're gonna get crack a lacking. I'm still alive. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at these shots. I mean, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I think this may what be the quickest. Me? How do I look? <laughs> so I think I want to get a few beauty looks, beauty shots of this look. Um, since we have Drama extra you're time. It's not like this. It's never this good. It's never this easy. It's never this quick and easy. Like we both shook. Welcome to my office and editing station. So it turns out we spoke too soon. We did in fact stuff up and we were getting ahead of ourselves on set. Basically we realized that um, we should have shot the image from a lower angle. And also I should probably be standing on a higher chair or ladder. So because of that, as a result, when we sat down to edit, it actually just looked like I was still standing on the pavement when we took the chair out, which is obviously not the effect we wanted. We wanted a levitating shot, like that was the whole magic behind everything. So basically in an hour and a half long complicated masking process, we had to merge three images together just to get our base image that we wanted so that's without color grading that's without anything else so yeah i'm not going to take you guys through that complicated procedure because you are of course going to learn from our mistakes and when you plan on recreating this image you are of course going to shoot your subject 
from a lower angle on a higher um, object you're gonna make sure that he or she is not looking like they are standing on the pavement so what I am gonna do is show you one of the two uh, super easy ways to just Photoshop that chair out of the way so you look like you're floating and then I'm gonna take you through our um, Lightroom editing process so on that note let's get into it so here we have one of the images that we shot that day and as you can see the background behind my feet is still the pavement which is of course what you don't want when you shoot your image but anyways we live and we learn regardless to take the chair out i am going to zoom in and then go in with my polygonal polygonal lasso tool however you say it and we are going to create a cordoned off area around the chair and make sure it wraps around the foot perfectly this is going to allow us to clean up that area and remove the chair without affecting the shoe or any other part of the picture that we don't need to affect Next, we're going to go in with the clone stamp tool, which allows you to copy a small section of a certain area and paste it somewhere else. You want to make sure you have your opacity set to 100%, hold down Alt if you're using a Mac like I am, and click the area you want to copy. Then you just have to paste it by clicking wherever the chair is visible. You have to copy spots that are the best match for that particular area, and that's how you're going to keep things looking realistic when you cover up the chair. Then you just want to keep going until the chair is fully disguised. And that's what it's going to look like in the end. Now you can see what I mean about looking like I'm just standing on the pavement. Anyways, we're heading back into Lightroom now and I'm about to add a preset, also known as a filter, to my final image. And if you guys don't know yet, I do sell my Lightroom presets in three different aesthetic packs for desktop and mobile and they are linked down below if you want to shop them. I am going to use the pastel preset in my bright pack. It looks nearly perfect just as it is, but I do want to bring down the black shades a little bit, adjust my skin tone by playing with the color orange, and I'm going to make the greens a little more yellow in color. This is what I love about Lightroom is that it gives you so much control over these colors and you can really create some awesome effects with both presets or your own tweaks. And that's the final image. Now, if you click here, you can see the before and after of the image and the preset itself makes a dramatic difference. And I'm super happy with how this turned out. So that is it from me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave me some love in the comment section below. I always love to hear from you. And if you guys want to see more uh, content creation videos, like editing behind the scenes, how to write better. I know a lot of you have actually asked me to show you guys how I pose, <laughs> or how to pose for images. Is that something you guys want to see? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to create the type of content creation content that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.